Hey, Jackie. What's up, Elisa? <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, is, this is so funny. Uh, yeah, yeah. I do you know what? I'm glad that we're doing a podcast after we've met a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Because I get super nervous. Mm, mm, mm. And now that yeah. I've met you a couple times, I'm like, oh, it's just like chatting to a friend. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. We we talk so much, so I was like, okay, yeah. maybe it's time. Yeah. to do a podcast. Eh? I think so it's time we sit down and have a chat and oh, disclose our secrets. Can, can we swear on this? Yeah, you yeah. can say oh, okay, fuck cool, shit, cool. bastard. Hey <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Project V with Elisa Wilson. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Yeah. Good, yeah. Busy, always busy. Yeah. Especially now. Yeah. Yeah, what about you? Oh, great. Like, busy now too. Um, but I just want to start off by saying, like, your success is fucking unreal. Oh, just doing whatever. Just doing whatever, you know. Nah, just you, kind no. of like moving, doing my own thing, eh, really. You play it mm. down so much because when I first joined TikTok like yeah, yeah. what three years ago you were probably one of the first people that I saw because that's when you started like three yeah yeah like three years ago in December yeah. I'm pretty sure yeah 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 and you just started popping off and it's just been consistent the trajectory has been nuts yeah 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 I'm just like wait it's bad but like you know you're like when does it when is it gonna like fall yeah so I'm glad it hasn't yet you know it's, no it's just going. gonna keep yeah, going yeah. Yeah, yeah. how did you get started with Content creation because was TikTok the first time you started doing that? Uh, nah, so I was making like YouTube videos 10, 10 15 years ago. Was so I was making like little Lego videos first, and then I moved on to like making vlogs at school. Oh, no yeah, way. yeah. So I was making vlogs at school and stuff, and then eventually just kind of transitioned to TikTok being like the natural thing that I was doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Were you always like the class clown or the funny guy at school? No, nah, I was the dry guy at school, but like- Really? I thought I was funny, but I'm pretty sure everyone thought I was dry, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like, uh, like, I yeah. was the same. I was like, yeah. oh, this will be funny as do that, and everyone's and you just say like, everyone's yeah. dry, you're like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but look at you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weirdo, just everything's just kind of aligning, I guess, yeah. And the buzzy thing is that you picked me up from the airport the first time we met. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. went for lunch. Yep. And I shit you not, like in the space of the first five minutes after we got out of the car, kids were coming oh, up to man. you asking for photos and stuff. Yeah. When did that all start? Um, Around when I was like 7,000 followers on, oh yeah, on TikTok. That's when they started to actually like come up. Like when did it start happening for you? When do people start coming up to you? Oh, they do, they don't come up to me. They just yell shit out like, "Hey, slim thick Mick." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I suck your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. different, and it's, it's not yeah. children. No. Uh yeah, yeah. it must be different too. Eh? Yeah. Because yeah. I think the weirdest time it ever happened was when that lady. I, did I ever tell you that when the no. lady left her car? No. And she had like a baby in the car. Oh my god! What yeah, happened? Yeah. I'm not trying to expose anyone, but nah, she just kind of like left her car, and then she was like. Oh my god, I love your videos. I'm like, oh, uh, your, your, ba- <laughs> your baby's in the car. <laughs> like, yeah. So it is pretty. It's pretty outrageous. And that happened at seven thousand. Yeah, that and happened ha- at seven thousand. And you have how many followers now? Uh, I think three hundred and three hundred and fifteen. I think. Lucky yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Real. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. And when did I can't it? Be- I can't believe it. Still. Yeah, I can't believe. <laughs> like, it's nuts. It's fuzzy. Yeah, yeah. Because you're probably one of the people in New Zealand with the. Bigger followings. Do you reckon? Yeah. There's maybe. Yeah. I don't, yeah you're maybe. very humble. I'm not too sure. Yeah, no, yeah. you're so nah, humble. I'm just, I'm just not aware of it, eh? Because we're too busy to be on socials all the time, like just yeah. having fun. And that's and that's the thing, eh? Is um, like social media becomes a job. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So. Like you don't do you, well for me anyway. Mm-hmm. I find myself not even wanting to be on my phone to reply to just like normal conversations because yeah. I'm like it's a business now. Yeah, right. Is it like, the same for you? Yeah, yeah. My mindset's always been if you're gonna be on social media, you might as well make money from it. Yeah. If you're not gonna make money from it, why are you gonna do it anyways? Yeah. It's kind of like sidetracking you from doing things that you should be doing to make yourself money. Yeah. Or put yourself in like a security. Yeah. Good security kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. When did you realize? Okay, I can start making money from this. Um, I still don't realize that I can, eh? honestly, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just kind of rolling around and then here and there, sponsors will come through. Yeah. Be like, oh, we want you to do this for this. And I'll be like, okay, cool, cool. But it's not promised, you know, a lot of the time. So you always got to have like side things going on, side businesses moving, or else if you just have one main thing, then, you know, yeah. one could fail. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. better to have more. And you have a few side hustles? Uh, 
probably like two. Yeah. <laughs> two side hustles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not much. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> I know, you know. I know, I know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like, well, I don't really have a side hustle. Well, that's mm, the mm, plan for this mm. year is to create another side hustle. But What do you want to do? Oh, I need to have a tangible product, okay. I feel. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah fair like, enough. You know, something that you can sell. You know, I can sell mm. my pussy, but <laughs> only an exclusive amount <laughs> yeah, of people yeah. want that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I need yeah. something tangible that, mm, you know, mm. like you – It was for me it was all about building on an, an, uh, an audience yep. and then yeah, having yeah. – that base already there, so whatever fair, fair, fair. gets introduced. But I don't want it to be clothing, you know, like yeah, ev- everyone's doing stuff. clothing now. Everyone's yeah, doing, everyone's doing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. If you could sell, like, if you could create and sell a product specific mm, to mm. you, what would it be? It's funny you say that because I was gonna start doing clothing and then stop. But, but then so much people are doing it now. It's kind of like it's kind of not worth doing now since everyone's already doing it. It's kind of like when there was a lot of people doing it. That's when you should. Mm. But now it's like overboard. But I you reckon know. somebody in your position is different because you have a huge following. Maybe, yeah, true, true, yeah. true. Yeah, like, I don't think about it like if that you sometimes. Were to, nah, yeah. if you were to drop one thing, so mm, many mm. people, like even if 10% mm, of those mm, people, mm, mm, mm. that's 30,000 people. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. Selling that for $10, that's a lot could of be, money. Yeah, it could be pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah, but at the end of the day, kind of just. Yeah. If, if I have a side hustle, it's more about like seeing the support or mm-hmm. what I can push the message I can push, really, yeah. like on Insta, I'm always pushing people to like work out and stuff. Yeah, every day. Yeah, every day. Yeah, so yeah. talk a little bit about that. You're really into health and fitness. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm always because when I was like 15 and stuff, I was really skinny, really small, always a small guy, obviously. So I pushed the message that everyone should start working out. Yeah, and obviously. Used to be depressed as well. Did you really? Kind of yeah, yeah. So when I was younger, I used to be really depressed up until I was 21. So not even that long ago, I was pretty like depressed. Up till 22, I was kind of finding where I was. Yep. But then now I'm like good. Yeah. No, no more depression, nothing like that. And did working out help with that? 100%. Yeah, right. yeah. Usually if someone comes to me saying that they're, they're depressed, I'm like, okay, go work out for a year. Like kind of build yourself, push mm-hmm. yourself to the limit, then come back to me and say you're sad. Yeah. But they yeah. don't come back. Yeah. You know? That endorphin rush, eh? Mm, mm, mm. And it can be super hard, like, to get out of bed and then go exercise in the first place. So it's hard. really hard. Yeah. But you do it. And I've had days where I'm like, oh, fuck this. I'd rather just stay in bed. And right. then you go and do something for 10 minutes and mm. you start feeling better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good. It's, it's a good thing. You should put your phone probably across the room from you in the morning mm. and set your alarm because you're going to have to get up and set it and turn it off anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a mindset thing. Do you get up really early in the morning? Uh, 5 a.m. That, I try to. That's yeah, really yeah. Good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you have like a structure going on, sometimes you won't follow it, but as long as you have a structure, you won't get lost. Yeah, you know, I find a lot of people get lost. They're like, oh, I'm just gonna wake up and do whatever I want today, and like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna do this today. I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, that's tomorrow's problem. But if you have a structure, you can kind of just get things done pretty easy. You realize yeah. that you can do everything that you want to do in that week in one day. Mm. Kind of thing. Yeah. 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 And structure for you because. Mm. When, I, when we first met, you were in a full-time job, right? Yep. And you were yeah, right yeah. on the verge of oh, leaving. Mm-hmm. And I remember you being so nervous. And so I was nervous. sitting yeah. there in the car being like, are you kidding me? You're in oh the best gosh. position yeah, to be yeah. able to do that. Yeah, right. How do you find structure now just working for yourself? I find it, it's way better. It's way more relaxed because when I was working a nine to five as well, not even that long ago, it was like four month, four or five months ago yeah. that I was in a nine to five that I finally quit. But it was really hard to be honest, because I'd wake up at five, go to training, finish around 7.30, drive out to the shore, mm. go to work, after work, six o'clock, go back to training. And then where's the time to like make content? On yeah. Saturday and Sunday, I'd devote that to like smashing out like 10 to 20 videos just so I can post them throughout the week and stuff. Yeah. So it's just so hard. Eh? Did it get to a point where you were like, oh, I'm not enjoying the content side of things because you just didn't have the time or was the content always like I'd rather be doing this than a full-time job yeah it's always been like I'd rather I I have to be grateful because obviously you're in a position yeah always grateful because we're in a position where we are not in a nine-to-five anymore and so yeah when I was in a nine-to-five nine-to-five doing the I was kind of just just trying to work hard really Mm -hmm. everything I was doing I was doing to a hundred yeah you know Obviously, you have, to sac- you have to sacrifice a lot of things yeah. to get what you want. Did you? Because you're still so young. Yeah, I'm only 22. Yeah, so. it's nuts. Uh. So, like, I'm surprised because when I was 22, all I wanted to do was go get fucked up in the weekends. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. 
I you guess I've never been like that though. Yeah. So I've never really liked going clubbing festival. I've never been to a festival. So. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, no, I still haven't been to a festival. Like I only started, I, I had my first drink at 18. Um, wow. Yeah, never really been into vaping. I had it for like maybe two months during COVID mm-hmm. and then just, oh. What? <laughs> just <whoop. laughs> no, I just smashed my vape because I was like, oh, there's no point doing it for me personally. Yeah. Um, yeah, just didn't really do any of that stuff. Yeah. Wow. Mm, mm. Is there the desire to now, cause I'm sure you'd have people coming up to you asking to buy you drinks or like take you out, like all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Don't, yeah. So yeah, you yeah. don't <laughs> lie. You know. Yeah. 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 If they do, then yeah, obviously you shouldn't take free drinks from people all the time. Take the free drink. Take- no. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, don't. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I find it kind of scary sometimes though, in a way, like that's the last time I went out was, I, I forgot what, what, I was going to ask you if you knew what the the club was down there in the city, but I don't even know it either. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I was in there with my friends. We were drinking and I was like, oh yeah, this is kind of fun. It was the last time I actually went out. Yeah. And this guy was like, oh bro, I like your TikToks, bro. I'm like, yeah, mean and stuff. And he was like, oh, can I buy you a drink? I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, bro. Like yeah. everyone's buying me drinks today. It's me. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't take free drinks from everybody. Did he put yeah. something in your drink? Yeah, so- Get out. Yeah. So, well, there was three people who bought me a drink and I think one of them put something in my drink because I'm like, I've only had four drinks. Oh. I'm not that light. I know I'm Asian and I'm like lightweight. <laughs> I'm not that lightweight, right? So yeah, afterwards I was just like, felt super woozy. I couldn't even walk. Oh. Yeah, I got damaged by somebody. Um, my The bros had to carry me home. Fuck. And I was like, holy crap. I've never felt this bad before. Yeah. Wow. So that was scary. So uh, don't take free drinks from everybody. That's Watch them pour the drink if you do. So I wonder yeah. what the intention was by doing that yeah. to you. Like, yeah. did they want to take advantage? Did they want to get you fucked up and record it? Like, mm, mm. that's another reason I don't go out yeah. as well is because I don't want someone to record me if I am drinking or anything. Yeah. Like, I think that's really scary. Yeah. <laughs> Never engage with haters if you want to make content mm-hmm. or you're you're kind of doing what you want to do. You right. realize that everyone that's already up there started where we wanted to start. Yeah. Yeah. They all started from nothing. They all got haters when they first started as well. Like yeah. people all saw their stuff. And went, Ugh, that's shit. Yeah. Well, that's Why are you doing? Yeah. That's yeah. dry as, yeah. You're not even funny. But How do you deal with the hater? Cause do you get a lot of hate still on your stuff? Not, not really. No. Yeah. yeah. At first did you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the stop like mocking South Auckland. You're yeah. not from here kind of stuff. Yeah. But then I think eventually everyone was like, oh, he's yeah, she him. lives here. I'm like, yeah, I've been here my whole life. Like, <laughs> I don't really feel like people should be mean. Yeah. You know? Like hate on someone doing stuff. Like everyone can have an opinion on anything they want to have. I think know? majority of the time it's people who wish that they were doing what you could do. Mm. Yeah, maybe. You yeah. know, and like feel, it's like projection because yeah. they feel yuck inside themselves. So it's like, oh, I'm going to hate on this person because right, it's easy. Right. It's going to make me feel better. Mm. It's good to have a, it's good to have an opinion, mm-hmm. but it's another thing if you're like gonna go out of your way and hate somebody. Yeah, j- like just be nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just be just be nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just be a nice guy, man. Just be yeah. a good cunt. What good was cunt. um? So you said like being Asian growing up in South Auckland. Mm-hmm. What was that like? Because you're surrounded by a lot of people who look and like talk different to you. Mm-hmm. Was yeah, that hard. Um, for me, it was pretty easy. Yeah. Like um, everyone like. All islanders treat everyone the same. Yep. You know, they treat everyone like family. They're all yep. family vibes. Yeah. And it's nice because I always knew that I was, I knew, I always knew I was Asian. <laughs> I, I was like, I was like, I'm, I know I'm not these guys. I know they're like 12 years old, but they're like seven foot tall and like 120 <laughs> pounds and they're muscly. And I'm like a skinny little scrawny Asian guy. I always knew that, you know, <laughs> but I always try to get involved anyways mm-hmm. because that's all I knew. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd always try to play rugby at break times. Yeah. You know, I'll always play bull rush during breaks. Yeah, I'll get smashed. I'm like the tiniest guy there. <laughs> you're not tiny though. Red. Like yeah. you're tall ass. Oh, I'll show you photos later. I'm like yeah. tiny, bro. And like, yeah, I always knew I was different from everyone else, but it never really put me off. I still did what I wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. As you should, you know? Yeah. If you're different, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to yeah. be different. Is that your, like, that's your niche? Because always on your stories and stuff, you're promoting like, just positive vibes. The and I get from you that you're a very positive person. Like you're, there's not a bad bone in you. Like you're not an asshole. Oh, uh, I am an asshole, but <laughs> I try to be a good. I try to improve. You know, yeah. we always try to improve, be a better person e- each day. You know, you can always do one thing wrong today, 
but improve that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. As long as you're changing, it's always a good thing as well. Yeah. 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 It's good to change, mm. I would say, um, but change for the better. Yeah. Mm. Do you get a lot of DMs from people your own age, like reaching out, either asking for help or for advice or, you know, like kind of like offloading on you a little bit because of who you are and the message you promote? Mm, yeah. So I always promote the message that, if anyone's got a problem, they can DM me, I will reply. That's really nice. Yeah, because I always realized that when I was a kid and I looked up to someone and I messaged them to help, mm -hmm. they wouldn't help. Mm. Obviously, because either they're too busy or they just don't check their messages. But yeah. I was really like, oh, this guy makes me happy. I'm going to message him and tell him he inspires me and hopefully he replies to me. Yeah. You know, but they never did. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just became that person myself. And now I'm kind of like, if you're feeling depressed, if you need advice or anything, just message me. I'll reply to you for reals. Like That's I so always nice. post it as well, just yeah. to make sure people know that I will respond. I'm not just going to be like, nah, I just mm. want to have my message request, like build yeah. up and have an ego or anything. Yeah. But yeah. Because there's so many people that will say on social media, come in my DM requests if you want, like if you're having a hard time and then they never respond. Exactly, yeah, and yeah. And then it's like for somebody who's actually going through shit, reaching out and then being told, yeah, like I'll talk to you and then not getting a response. Like if you're going through shit, that can be quite mm. hard. Yeah, I get a lot of messages of people like 12 year old boys or like- yeah, That young. Yeah. I think my, yeah, I get as young as 12 year old oh. boys going, oh, how should I start working out? I want to start fighting. Yeah. What should I do? Mm-hmm. I got bullied, all this kind of mm. stuff. I'm like, okay, if you're going to join fighting, don't join it because you're going to want to go around and beat people up. Mm -hmm. Join it because you actually like the sport or you just want to be better. Yeah. That's, I mean, I get dropped every day at training, you know? <laughs> I don't go into it just to think like I'm invincible. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Why did you, so for those that don't know, Jackie's a mean ass Muay Thai fighter. <sighs> I'm all right. I'm nah, right. <laughs> no, how many right. fights have you had now? Uh, seven fights now. See, yeah, yeah, seven unreal. fights now. Yeah, yeah. What got you into fighting? I was bullied. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. you were, bu and were you bullied for being like the small Asian kid or was it something else? I, I'm not too sure because yeah. I never asked them. Yeah. The, the, the guy that um, bullied me pretty much was, I think he was really insecure himself. Mm -hmm. you know? um, they usually are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I hope he's doing better now because it's been a really long time. I mm -hmm. hope he's doing good now. But yeah, he was just bullying me from year nine up until year 10. And then I had a mate who pretty much taught me how to fight. Yeah. And then from then on, don't beat up your bullies, but I, that's what I did. And then, oh, yeah, and then I got sent into the Air Force for beating up my bully because my mum thought I had been bullying him for the year, years passing because oh. that's what he told my mum. He goes, oh, yeah, Jackie's been like bullying me for a year and stuff. What? Yeah, and then my mum sent me to the military for like two years. Yeah, yeah. So I was in the on, Air Force for two years. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Because this my, is so yeah. new to me. So you yeah. went in the Air Force for two years. At yeah, what yeah. age? Uh I think it was 13 to 15 or 12 Holy to fuck. 14. Yeah. But it was like, uh, it was kind of like cadets kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -mm. And was that for, were you sent there for like the discipline? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And I hate, well, there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, flying or being in the air force, but mm -hmm. it was, just wasn't my thing at 14 years old. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. I just wouldn't play video games as a kid, man. I didn't, yeah. I wasn't, yeah. I just, and I wanted to get better at fighting. Yeah. And so now you train every single day, right? Yeah, I train twice, two to three times a day. No, yeah. Wow. Well, now that I can, you know, yeah. it's, it's good too. Yeah. I think you should always strive to either be better or the best. Yeah. For yourself, not for anybody else, you know? Yeah. yeah. I love you. Your message is so consistent. Like yeah. health, wellness, be yourself, mm. do you, and just yeah. be nice. As Yeah. You can, yeah, just be yourself. Mm. Obviously, there's things that we both don't agree on. Sometimes, you know, but we're still friends. We yep. still vibe really well. Yep. Like just because someone has a different opinion doesn't mean you should hate on somebody. You know? Wait, you what are our differences in opinions? Are I don't know. I'm taller than you. You're shorter than me. Oh, <laughs> definitely not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like it's, yeah, you should never hate on someone just because of a different opinion. Yeah. Everyone's allowed to have an opinion. It's yeah. what you do next about it, but you can still be friends with people. You can be friends with anyone. Yeah. You know? That's so, but mm. see, if you're 22 and for you to be talking like this, when I was 22, if somebody had an issue with me, I'd be like, fuck, fuck <laughs> Just, you, bitch. Hey, what did you say? Where the fuck did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, or like start yeah, crying, yeah, you know, yeah, like uh, couldn't uh, handle my emotions mm, at mm, all. Mm, and you're so put together. Like oh. you're very, do you practice mindfulness or anything? Uh, Now I just play a lot of chess. Right. Yeah, I, I find that helps my brain. When I wake up, I play chess or I play with a Rubik's Cube kind of just to warm my brain up for the day. Oh my God. Yeah, or I'm at training. Yeah. Because once you- you wake up early as well. I see your stories and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I wake up early because I'm fucking deranged. 
<laughs> fair, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Fair enough. Yeah, 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 hard, hard. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> but like when we wake up first mm-hmm. and at 5 a.m., our brain's kind of like, yeah. But as like we get up and we finally get to it, it's kind of like, oh, this is good. Yeah. It was a good idea to get yeah. up and work out. Yeah. Yeah. And so, what is the goal for you with fighting? Do you want to go pro? Oh, I'm going for that belt, man. Oh, I'm going yes. for it. Yeah, yeah, hard. I like, love this. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm always trying to strive for something. Yeah. You know, obviously I'm doing so much at the same time, but I kind of, I feel like it's good for me. Yeah. A lot of people will say doing a lot of things at the same time is bad or not having a break or working too mm. hard is not good for you. But for me, it works. Yep. You know, you just got to do what works for you. You know, working two to three times a day works yeah. for me. Yeah, some people are, oh, once once a day is enough. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm not going to like shit on you for working out once a day. At least yeah. you're actually trying to improve yeah. your body in a good way. Three times a day is hectic. Yeah. Do you find it helps with your creativity? Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, because I'm already relaxed. It's kind of like meditating in a mm-hmm. way. Yeah. Yeah. I would find it. Like a different a different kind, because obviously mm. you're like exerting a whole bunch of energy, yep. punching and kicking. But then afterwards, <laughs> do you feel like, oh. Yeah. Like, like, at training, um say like Monday night, we do like hard sparring. Yeah, Everyone's like in there just hitting the heck out of each other. Like before class, we're all like, yep, yeah. Oh, hey, nice to see you. But after it, everyone's, it's, it's, a, it's a different vibe. Everyone's yeah. like, what's up bro? Like good stuff, like good shit. Like we all become closer. Yeah, The harder we hit each other, the more we almost knock each other out, the better friends we become, you know? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think there's nothing quite like getting the shit kicked out of you, eh? Yeah, it's always fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> fun if you're the one doing it. Maybe yeah, yeah. not that fun if you're receiving it. Uh, depends. Depends. <laughs> it's always fun. Yeah. Have you done any martial arts? I did um, like a little stint in Thailand. Fuck, this was yep. like seven years ago. Mm-hmm. And I it was on that same street where um, Tiger Muay Thai is. You yep. know, where yeah, like yeah. everybody goes. Mm-hmm. Um, so I went there for a little bit. Please don't think that makes me a professional because I'm definitely not. Like I was- She that, is a professional. No, I was the <laughs> fucking worst. And the thing is, I thought I was man. I yeah. thought I was the man because yep. I did like- 10 Muay Thai classes before I went to Thailand and I went over oh, there yeah. like, oh yeah. A different thing. Yeah, and the, the trainer was like, okay, like show me your moves. And I'm just like, ha, ha. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> you need to go to the beginner's like, class. Like, hey, yo, nah, can you gap it? Like, yeah. can you go over there? Oh, these fucking foreigners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Oh, yeah, that actually brings up like the thing where when I was doing Taekwondo and like I was just winning all my fights. Yeah. Before I transitioned to Muay Thai, I had the ego like, I was mm. like, oh fuck, I'm the man. Like no one can beat me. Yeah. As soon as I joined Muay Thai, like the first class, I had a mate that he's a really good friend now. His name is Dan. I did a sparring class with him and he just dropped me. And I was like, oh my God, uh, I don't know everything, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You always have the ego where you think you're like, yeah, yeah, I've got everything. I know everything. And then you get humbled. Yeah. I pretty much got humbled by Dan, which was amazing. <laughs> like it was probably like a life changing experience. Yeah. I think, yeah. I th- Cause you're a very, very humble person. I try, I try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, but <laughs> especially at your age too, mm, there's mm. just, uh, yeah, and I think it's just people in New Zealand or in the yeah. world in general, like mm, everybody mm. thinks a lot higher than themselves. Yep. Everyone thinks they're better than everything or what they really are. And I think yep. that there's there's credit to that because it's, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, it yeah, can work course, in yeah, your favour. But there's nothing quite like, there's like the arrogance about being cocky and yep. that's what I don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've definitely. had that before with thinking, you know, mm, like, mm. oh, only fans will be easy or TikTok will yep. be easy. Yeah, and yeah. then you get taken down like five pegs and it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. There's a skill to this. Definitely. And yeah. I don't have it. <laughs> I still I still have that now. Like uh, definitely when I fight, I'm like, oh yeah. Since I've won my last three fights, I'm going to win my fourth one. Mm. But then you realize each fight is different. Yeah. Like um, my coach now was like, just because you won this fight, just because you were undefeated for like 10 years, doesn't mean your next fight's gonna be easy yeah each fight is different each yeah. time is different you know it's not all the same treat every fight like your first fight right so treat every time you make a video like it was your first time making it ah you know, kind of thing like that yeah because mm. you can get like uh, i don't want to say complacent but yeah. do you find it hard to consistently think of new content ideas uh for me it's kind of easy like i would sit down on yeah. a sunday night for like maybe an hour mm-hmm. and just like smash out 16 video ideas That's and then film like maybe one or two a day or three of vid- three videos crazy. a day yeah I, I always need to constantly been working do you have adhd like, i'm like right i don't know 
Yeah. Because I'm always like moving or doing something. I always have to be. Yeah. But like, I think you're using it in your favor. Mm, yeah. Because you know how some people are like, yeah, I have ADHD and I don't want to be medicated because mm. it helps mm, mm, me mm, mm, be creative or, sure, you know, sure, it helps sure. me get shit done. Yeah. If you have something like that, then you should definitely get it sorted. Mm. But um, yeah, for me, it's, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm just kind of doing what I'm doing yeah. and doing what works for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, it baffles me to do 16, like smash out 16 skits. Do you just base all of your ideas off real life experiences? Um, most of them are. Yeah. A lot of them is just me trying to, if I see there's like, you know, real problems, I try to seek mm. truth. Mm -hmm. through. Yeah, seek truth through funny. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like a little bit of this, but I'll make it into a skit, make it kind of funny. So people be like, oh, this is like relatable and funny to laugh at as well. Yeah. But at the same time, there's a bit of truth in it. Like the comparing Americans versus New Zealand videos, they yeah. always do really yeah. well. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and uh, people are like, oh, you'll get backlash from Americans. But a lot of it's like Americans just laughing, saying like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, ha, this is like true. And I guess that is my audience is people like being able to laugh at themselves. Yes. That's the people I like to keep. That's the people yeah. you want to keep around you is people who can just laugh at themselves, yeah. have a good time always, you know. Yeah. There's times to be sad. Yeah. There's times, times to be serious, but there's also times where you can just joke around yeah. and live life not serious. Laughter is so crucial too. 100%. Like, there's 100%. so much bad shit that goes on in the world and then if you can make somebody laugh, it's like, oh, you just brighten up one person's day and it makes it all worth it. Yeah, 100%. Like if I had a dollar for every time someone messaged saying like, I help them or oh, made them so laugh. Nice. It would, I'd still be poor, but I'd have <laughs> enough money. <laughs> I'd still have enough money to live the rest of my life. But it's, it's just nice that people do reach out and say, oh, like, I really love your videos yeah, or you really helped so me. Cool. And stuff. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or like people just want to get started. It's yeah. pretty nice. I'm like, yeah, bro, I'll help you, bro. Yeah. 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 That's like, um, I've started doing those videos, like rating the DMs. That's funny. Yeah, and yeah. That's so funny. But yeah, I, yeah. I started getting in my head because it was mobsters messaging. Oh, okay. And yeah, then yeah. I was replying with Yolza and I was like, oh, fuck, <laughs> is this going to get me in trouble? But mm -hmm. the responses, like the mobsters were seeing it cracking up laughing. You like, realise that the, the ones that laugh at it are the ones at the top, right? <laughs> it's hard sometimes not to put everybody in one category. It's yep, like, oh, yep. if you associate with this, then it makes you that kind of person. Right. But that's yep. not true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely, because people kind of just look like, oh, he's this. Mm. So everyone else, that's that must be the same, you yeah. know? Kind of like, oh, this one Asian guy treated me bad. So all Asians must be like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Everybody's different. You or know? like, you she does OnlyFans. They're all sluts, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Kind of like Everyone that. gets put into boxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but oh. everyone's different. Mm. Not everyone's the same. Yeah. I like being different, though. Good to be different, right? I think you it have works to in be our different. Favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people will look at you. A lot of people these days, I find, uh, they follow a structure, mm -hmm. but then when they see someone doing different, they're like, "Oh, that's that's so cool!" And then yeah. if that expires, inspires them to do it, like that's mm -hmm. good, you know? Yeah, I've like, yeah, I've pretty much picked up a quote that's pretty much aspire to inspire. Oh, I yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like you do that really well. I try to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gotta, yeah, I try to inspire a lot of people to kind of work out, or if they're yeah. lost just get into a hobby that you might like or even if you don't like it it's good to just be social yeah get talking yeah, yeah. i've picked and choose who i have around me because mm -hmm. you are <clears throat> you the are company who you, you keep yeah. yeah you are who you hang out with as well and so i've tried to pick the people that don't do a lot of it as well and so i just hang around them or mm. people who kind of just work really hard as well yeah. like you you know oh, keep the know. people that work hard so like it's, it's more like friendly competition. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like, oh, I did this many videos today. Oh, okay. I'm going to go make six six yeah. more than you did. And like bouncing ideas mm -hmm. off the right people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like, oh, yeah, you did six videos. I did seven. It's more yeah. like, oh, you did six. I'm going to do six more than you, but not because I hate you, but because, because you inspired me. To do, me. Yeah, you made me do, yeah. You yeah. motivated me to do way more. Yeah. Mm. Do you have a really small close circle of friends? Bro, I've only got like, Two or three oh, people. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe just it's one. It's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I question if I even have someone close to like, yeah. you know, maybe I'm just paranoid, but. Oh, maybe <laughs> it's all know. the weed. Oh man. Yeah. But I, I find, I think as you, I'm not saying I'm big on like everything, but I feel like as you grow, mm. your circles gets way tinier. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like I don't know who I can go to for some certain things anymore. Yeah, as I used to. It's it's, it's crazy. really hard. And mm -hmm. I think that's just like normal. That's part of life, right? Yep. As you get older, you just 
your values and priorities change and Everything. people come yep. and go. Mm, mm. But it's I look at people who get married and they have like seven brides and grooms in their wedding party and I'm like, I don't even have... <laughs> I don't have that many friends. I don't even, I don't even yeah. have one. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Do you, have you found that once you stop like texting people, did you ever used to just rely on talking to people mm. and then once you stop messaging them first, Crickets. they don't, yep, they don't yep. message you back, right? Yep. Oh my yep. gosh. Yeah, I started, I started doing that last year and I was like, wow, how many friends do I really have, mm -hmm. you know? So, or, and, and then you become, you take notice of people who message you only when they want something. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. That's really bad, eh? Yeah. So I've just realized I'm cutting out everybody mm -hmm. that's not would you? Worth. Yeah, would you get a lot of people wanting to hang out with you purely because you're like the TikTok guy? Um, They haven't said it like that to me, but mm -hmm. it's more like, hey, we should catch up. I'm like, you never used to talk to me, mm. you know? You used yeah. to just walk past me or like look at me yeah now you're talking to me like it's yeah mm. it's weird but um i still try to treat everyone nice anyways you know yeah no, someone yeah. could just give me a whole big fucking rant on me they could write a whole book on how much they hate me if i see you i'd still be like hey shake seriously your hand. yeah i'll still shake your oh hand my god like, you got so much more value than i do <laughs> no, i'd be no, like no, you no. fucking asshole yeah <laughs> yeah um, i just don't feel like you should put negative energy into something that you're not yeah you know? So like, oh, your videos are shit, your videos are dry. I'm not going to reply. I need to take the leaf out of your book. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> do you reply to people? Yeah, that sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then, but the video replies never do well. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. Okay. And then it's a snowball effect from that. Because, you know, if you reply to hate and then they get really fucked off, it doesn't mm -hmm. take much for them to go mass report your page and then mm -hmm. your page gets deleted. You know, like yeah, yeah. It, it has a negative yeah, on flow. Yeah, yeah. yeah so definitely. I really need to take a leaf out of that. I mean, I think when you do respond to hate, I always message you, I'm like, hey, Delete it. Yes. Do not respond to hate. Yes. Every you know? single time he messages me, he's like, take that down. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like oh, don't okay. respond to hate because <laughs> you don't need to, you know. Nah. Just keep doing what you're doing. People will love, people will hate. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, you're just doing what you're doing. People that love will stay. People that hate will just have their opinion. They'll leave. Yeah. Yeah. But some will go out of their way to like spam everything, message you nonstop, hate nonstop. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty That's bad. For eh? you to know this though at 22 is unreal. I just assume everyone at my age knows this no, kind of but stuff. They, eh? Yeah, no, I mean, none I don't of them know. do. Yeah, yeah. Really? Well, not, <laughs> not I'm, I'm generalizing there, but yeah, a sure, lot sure. of people yeah. would have no idea. Like, if, mm -hmm. you know, at that age, your focus is going and getting fucked up on the weekends or, yeah, you know, like yeah. stirring the pot, starting drama. Mm. Yep, yep. And you're just, Definitely. you got your priorities in check. It's fucking cool to see. <sighs> I try to. <laughs> I, I try to stay as drama free as I can. Like, I think what drives what drives me the most to train and work really hard is when I see people that go out all the time and mm. then they're like, Oh, I'm hungover. And I see their posts of them saying they're hungover. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Cause now you're going to bed as you're going to bed. I'm waking I'm, up to go yeah. train, yeah. you know? Yeah. So as you're taking a break, I'm working hard as you're sleeping, I'm training Yeah. as you're relaxing and having a vacation. I'm trying to smash out all these videos. I'm trying to work as hard as I can at the mm -hmm. moment. So I think it's kind of, it's just me trying to be the best yeah. for myself, you know? Yeah. yeah. What is the end goal for you? Like, do you have, okay, I want to be on TV or I want, you know, like when will you consider yourself to have made it? When my mum has a house. Oh, when I bought my mom that's a house. so that's nice. That's when I feel like it is. Um, I don't feel like there's a personal end goal for me. Yeah. I feel like I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. Um, But if I can get my mum a house, then I'll be like, sweet. All right, all good. I'm done. Like, I'm done with like going as hard as I am. I'll just- Stick to fighting, you know? Yeah. I think eventually I just want to fight. Yeah. Stick to fighting only. Um, yeah. So that's your drive as your yeah. mum? Yeah. My, my mum is my drive. Yeah. Because she is like super independent, you know? When you have a mum that's super independent and she's like raising four kids. Wow. It you're is one of four. so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. one of four. Yeah, yeah. But I'm the oldest as well. Yeah. So got to set the example as well. Yeah. And I'm always so angry at my like sisters because I'm like, you could be doing this. You could be doing this. Like. Mm. But that's just me. That's just the way I think. I'm like, I look at friends. I'm like, you're really good at, say, swimming. Mm. You could build this kind of business out of swimming or you're really good at running. You could build this kind of business out of running. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm always thinking about like, what's next? What you can do? What what can you build? Yeah. Kind of shit like that. Yeah. But not everyone thinks like that, eh? They're like, or the, the desire <laughs> yeah. to do it's just not there. Yeah. There are other things that get in the way, like yep, yep. partying and yep. drugs yeah, yeah. and alcohol. Yeah, that was stuff. that was twenty twenty two, man. Oh man, mm -hmm. I definitely got. I definitely let that get. I definitely let that get into me. What a bit. you let your hair down in twenty twenty two? Towards the end of it, I kind of 
leaned into a lot of drinking and all mm-hmm. of that bad stuff for yep. me personally. I find it bad for me. Um, but yeah, 2023, mm-hmm. I've kind of like take a step back, wrote down everything. Now I'm starting to journal as well. Oh, I find cool. it's really good to journal. Yeah. yeah if, if you have anything go- going on or bad or if you need to write down anything good, just start journaling. Like mm-hmm. It's really good to just express yourself. Like you can't always express to people. People can only help you to an extent, but you need to help yep. yourself more. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yep. Yeah. I'm getting into like manifesting as yep. well. Mm-hmm. Like writing down what I want to attract. 100%. And, and doing it in a way that, you know, I'm not going to write down, oh, I'm going to attract a million dollars. You know, I wish. Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what am I, who is the person I'm going to become that's right. going to make me a million dollars? You yeah. know, like that's the kind of manifestation mm-hmm. I'm doing. And yep. I'm like, Hello. Like, when is waiting. it? Waiting. <laughs> waiting for the time to just go off already. It'll come in Thailand, I think. You reckon? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like going overseas and mm, mm. getting out of New Zealand, there's just something about it's being nice. in a different country. It helps you just refocus and reset mm, mm, and mm. everything's just brighter, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely found, do you get culture shock? Like mm. big culture shock when you go over, you're like, oh. What they're doing is weird, but then I realize I'm in their country, so to them it's normal. Yeah. What I do is weird. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I definitely found that with Rarotonga. So when oh, I oh really yeah. Yeah, like yeah. what they're not materialistic at all. Yeah. They're all about family. They're yeah. so humble. All they care about is just having fun and being nice. Mm-hmm. And I loved Rarotonga for that. Like yeah. everyone was just so humble, welcoming, just super nice as well. I went with my best friend. It was just a good time. Yeah. Were they fanning over you? But not. Yeah, they they were, but not in like. Like, oh my god! Like blah, blah. Yeah. they were like, like "Hi, nice, nice to oh, see you." Like that's you're so really, cool. we really like you. We know you're staying here. Everyone knew where we were staying in Raro, mm. but no one came to the house. Wow. Yeah, no one raided or anything. No one came through. Everyone just kind of said, "Oh, if we see you on the street, we'll say hi." That's so. Yeah, it's nice. mean. It's mean. It's mean like that. Yeah. yeah. I was like, "Oh, this is really respectful." Yeah. And even going to places like Thailand or anywhere that's mm-hmm. semi-third world, seeing people that have next to nothing and they're so content with life and so happy right and it's like so many people here have an abundance of money but they're so unhappy first world problems right and it's such a mindset thing Mm -hmm. it's such a small mindset to have to to be like oh this isn't the handbag that i wanted yeah i'm gonna have a tanty today yeah yeah Yeah, I, i do find um a lot of the problems that i hear from my friends the, the automatic response I have is, bro, you're just doing, you're just having a first world problem. Like mm-hmm. it could be worse, but then they don't understand because they haven't traveled overseas to kind of yeah. see what's actually out there in the world. Mm-hmm. Cause it's super bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really bad in the world. Like we've got it pretty easy in New Zealand. And yeah. then when I hear people complain, I'm like, it could be much worse, mm-hmm. but I could say that and they won't understand anyways. They need to kind of go out and experience and for experience. themselves. Yeah, yeah. Cause when I was 18, I was like, I'm leaving the country. I need to go live some, in some other country to understand. So I went to Thailand and lived there for a month. Yeah. And I was like, wow. It is like- Opens your eyes up. Yeah, opened my eyes to everything. And then when I came back, I was like, I'm really grateful to like be here. Yeah. 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 Yep. Imagine Good. three months over there. You're going to come back a nice. new person. I'm going to come back tannery. <laughs> You're, I, I can't get I know, I'm already tannery. Like, yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard, hard. It's nuts. Oh man. Yeah. Oh. It'll be even crazier. You're going to get tanner too. Oh, I hope so. Do you so. tan much? I do, yeah, but I, I feel Reddit heaps. that well, I you know, like we've got a cyclone that's arriving uh, and it's meant to be yeah, summer. Well, so I try, I, I lay, I lie in the sun. Ah, um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What is this weather? Eh? Oh, it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Um, what are your goals for this year? Um, my goals for this year, I've written them all down actually, but I don't have my journal with me. Um, but I, I've gone celibate as well. So, wow. Yeah, so that goal, yeah, I. Just, as a twenty-two-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, t- uh, it's just too distracting. I don't need the distractions, you know, I just, I'm happy with where I am. You know, yeah. a lot of people are like, yeah, I'm 22. I'm going to go live my life and do everything that like, you know, I'm going to go drink, do all this kind of stuff because I'm never going to be 22 again. For mm-hmm. me, it's kind of like, no, I just, for me personally, I just want to focus on my goals and what will actually make me happy is doing yeah. what I want to do. And yeah. so celibate from everything, no everything. wanking, nothing. Nothing, nothing. <gasps> I've gone celibate from everything. Yeah. Well, I've already been celibate from that kind of stuff for a while, but yeah. now it's kind of like, since I can already like not wank and do all that kind of stuff, I might as well go all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a timeline on it? No, no. Yeah. I'm just kind of doing it for yeah. whenever I feel like I want to stop. Yeah. I'm going to try for a year. Wow. I'm doing it for a year. Yeah. I, I, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. First week, it's, it might be hard, but yeah. after that, Easy as a oh, few months. But. That poor girl who's going to bust a nut in after a <laughs> No, no, no like oh my seconds. gosh, no, no. 
<laughs> oh, bad, bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. No, I take my hat off to you. I had a friend who tried to do the same thing, like go 100 yep. days without mm-hmm. anything. And I think he got up to day like 70 something. That's really then, good. Yeah. yeah, and then he caved. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck to go that long. It, I th- it tests your mindset, right? Yep. I yeah. I think it's good as well since like I'm going celibate and I'm stopping drinking, smoking, all that kind of stuff too because – we're going to Thailand yeah. and it's legal and there's the so whole many culture. distractions. Yeah, there's so many distractions in Thailand and the best time to stop is yeah, when you're in pressure because yeah. pressure creates diamonds. Yes. Right? So when's the best time to do it? Under pressure. Today, right now. Yeah. I'm pr- under pressure. Yeah, exactly. Today, tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, just easy. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be hard, but it well, it's not hard for me, actually. I find it pretty, I find it easier to not do that kind of stuff. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to be leaning on you big time. You're going to be like, <laughs> yeah. Jackie, I need to smoke a joint. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> bitch, sit down. <laughs> go do it. <laughs> or else you're going to keep being paranoid. Just go, just go. I'll be all good. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm just, yeah, keep keep the keeping the right people around me. Yeah. Just making me a good person, I'd yeah. say. I'm not going to say any names because I know they probably don't want to yeah. be out there. But yeah, yeah I'm just going to say that you guys always motivate me and, well, not motivate, you know, keep me disciplined. Yeah. You know? Discipline over over motivation, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Mm. If you to wrap it up, if you had mm-hmm. one word of advice that you would give anybody listening, what would it be? Advice. Ah, uh, well, that's really on the spot. <laughs> uh, do what makes you happy. You know, mm. do what makes you happy, and don't forget that pressure creates diamonds. You know, yeah. Inspire yourself first. No such thing as motivation. Only discipline, you know. Ooh, mm, mm. I like that. What was it? Aspire to inspire. Yeah, aspire I to love inspire. That. Yeah, yeah. I fucking love aspire that. Aspire to inspire other people to do good things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm not perfect. Oh, nobody is. That's yeah, the but thing. we're always trying to change and do better. So, yeah. 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 I love that. No, nah, shot Jackie. Thank you nah, so much. Jackie. Absolute pleasure talking what? to you. Always, always. Oh, always a good time. Thank you. All right, all good, all good. <laughs> Project V with Elisa Wilson. 